on your assumptions. And that's exactly what we want our students to consider. When they say, okay, these are the possibilities, I will go explore two of them and say what will happen if this is if this assumption is correct, correct, this is what will happen. If that assumption is correct, this is what will happen. This problem does not have one right answer. Here's another one. Describe an experiment that you will design to find out whether the resistance of a particular circuit element is independent of the potential difference across it. Resistance is a property. Potential difference is how strong the battery is basically attached to this resistor. And some L circuit elements have a linear relationship. Some circuit elements, like incandescent light bulbs, for example, they do not have a linear relationship. And students are familiar with linear relationships. If you ever took a physics course, you probably heard about Ohm's law, right? But there are tons of elements that are, do not obey the linear relationship. So they need to design an experiment, describe it, say how they will make a judgment, and describe it in a way that anyone can repeat this experiment. This is a paper and pencil. So, as you can see, all these abilities that we want them to develop, many of them, including communication, can be assessed through this problem. And I'm going to give you another one, which will look, oops, rather scary, but uh, maybe it will be easier later to understand what I'm saying if we go through it. So, if you know Hot Wheels cars? Yes? So imagine a launcher, right, and look the loop thing. Uh, so they do a lab when they need to predict the smallest setting on the launcher for the car to make the whole loop on the first try. If you pull it too hard, it will...